Alyssa Milano exposed as dialectical white supremacist by black TikTok star. And that's my phrase. I call, I've been calling the whole, whatever, whatever you want to call it, SJW, social justice, critical race theory, whatever, all these phrases that they have, they all have one thing in common. They are all dialectical white supremacism. And let me tell you how, uh, briefly, because I could go, this, I, could, I could create a whole show from this, probably a two or three hour show, and discussing exactly how it's come to these conclusions and, and how it unfolds. But basically, the, the fundamental, pro, the underlying assumption that you must agree to if you're going to accept what critical race theory suggests is that the white race invented evil so that it could control the world. And then it went about and it did so. Now, what does that say about the white race? What it says about... Now, first off, I don't buy that, so I'm not buying this at all. I'm not a white supremacist. I don't believe that white people are in any way, shape, or form superior to any other group of people out there. And my, my empirical data uh, in interacting with other human beings suggests that there's, there's little, if any, uh, differences of substance that has to do with the most important things. Your character, your integrity, your, your loyalty, your consistency your the, the standing that I would give human beings I really haven't found that white people deserve any more or any less standing than than the other people that I've had in my life that don't happen to be white so white supremacism is just retarded in my eyes just totally it's just it's just not even not even the least bit tenable but the dialogue the the critical race theorists will have you believe that whites are superior they must be superior if they are to be able to construct these magic formulas, whether it's for them Christianity as a form of white supremacism, the Bill of Rights, the very thing that protects the poor against the, the powerful elites, the billionaires, the Bill of Rights. Yeah, that's, uh, that's white supremacist. All these things were invented by whites to control the world. So what you end up doing is you create a god, a white god that is both uh, superior and evil they and at the same hand who is it that is going to rescue the minority from the majority superior race well it's white people it's it's good white people like this woman Melissa Milano a a uh, a self of self uh, stating well I she wouldn't call herself a dialectical white supremacist but essentially that's what she is and this this kind of calls her out well I'll, I'll get to that so what you end up with is the white race is the devil that invented evil and the white race is also the savior for all the other peoples because it's the white allies that need to come forward, need to willingly rem uh, sacrifice their powers. They're like Jesus, it's like a, a perverse form of Jesus, upside down Christism, which is what you always end up with when you remove Christ. Eventually, you turn the cross upside down, and that's what they've done. They've turned the cross upside down so that the, the white race is the perverse Jesus. They, they are the, the, the Abraxan Jesus. Abraxas was a, an Egyptian god uh, mid, late, late, well, well, somewhere around the turn of the, of the first, of, well, from the transition from B.C. to A.D., somewhere around there. Uh, Abraxas emerges as this god who encompasses both good and evil, and that's what the white race is. So white race is Jesus who is both good and evil, and Jesus must lay down his, his arms, must, must, must be willing to sacrifice his power and his glory so that others in in the perverse Jesus can keep on sinning because in the in the critical race theory model it frees anybody who is not white from having to face any sense of accountability to anyone else because by their very victimhood they're given special ability to take coercive action against their neighbors that we wouldn't normally allow to others and Alyssa Milano is is absolutely the face of this she is the celebrity face of dialectical white supremacism. And this, uh, they, they say black woman uses TikTok to expose the, I know why you say black woman and I get, I don't really like, I mean, I, I put the title in there and I'll put the title in this as well because we're, we're pointing out that the woman that's questioning her is black and that means something. And I, I, I've done it, but I do it with some degree of trepidation because I really don't like in general designating human beings by the 
by their race, by the color of their skin. Uh, but be that as it may, black woman uses TikTok to expose the actual white supremacism of woke priestess Alyssa Milano. So this is for now. I chose the first story on here. Black TikTok star calls activist Alyssa Milano a white supremacist. You can be better. A video by black TikTok star Savannah Edwards in which she calls actress and activist Alyssa Milano a white supremacist and tells Milano that you can be better has gone viral. Edwards, known as this savvy on TikTok, posted a reaction to a clip from Milano's Sorry Not Sorry podcast that she just just really she used to call it the Sorry podcast as in well you can you can work out all the, the ramifications of the word sorry that i mean there that she shared to the social platform in which milano tells viewers who are not black men to imagine watching the news and seeing how people look like you uh, uh, look like you are betrayed and then she counters imagine being a black man and being told by some white lady with a microphone that you and the criminals on tv are one and the same because you look alike you don't have to be a white supremacist. You can be better. And I could go, I'll just read a couple of more headlines that I gathered here from Red State. We have black woman takes truth blowtorch to Alyssa Milano, woke white ladies. <laughs> Alyssa Milano says cele celebrities could help end pandemic. We could reach people in ways that Dr. Fauci maybe can't. So this is this is her whole notion that she, she just has this preconceived notion that somehow celebrities should continue to be the priest kings of the land. That's what she wants to be. She wants to be a priest king. She wants to go back to the Bronze Age. She wants to go back to the days of Sargon of Akkad. She wants to be Sargon of Akkad, or at least his high priestess. At the very least, his high priestess. Alyssa, uh, so uh, let's see. Alyssa Milano hits back at washed up actors' comments from trollsperthnow.com. Well, she is, in fact, in the truest sense of the word, a uh, washed up actress. She is, she's. I don't know the last time she's been in a movie, but she's she 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 trades in her celebrity that was born from her being an actress. And she uses that to to assume that that gives her special priestess powers that you should somehow listen to these priestesses. So I think it's a fair critique. Of course, she likes to put her opinions out there, but she doesn't like it so much when she suffers the consequences of her opinions. By the way, consequences of your opinion is not burning down a building or, or, or committing market murder against you. Consequences of your your speech are, well, I don't really like that. I'll give you a counter. Or, okay, well, I just won't associate with you. Not, and by the way, associate with you is one thing, but for for corporate powers to to utilize their significant power advantage to murder people in the marketplace, well, that's, that's a whole level up than some individual just deciding, I might not want to associate with you, but that, that may be not, no, never mind. I knew this was going to be a long segment, longer than most, and we've already hit over the eight-minute mark, so I'm going to leave it here. But I do want to say uh, this is a topic that uh, I could go into much depth on, and I wish that there was some way that I can convince human beings, especially those that, that fall into this, into this horrible, horrible ideology that you're actually committing you are the white supremacist that you're fighting. You, you absolutely are. You are, you are, you are pro pro propelling, uh, preserving, and extending the myth that white people are superior. And if you're white, you're not superior. There's nothing great about the white race anymore. I mean, we have some good qualities, some bad qualities, whatever. But if you look throughout human history, almost just about every race has examples of good and bad. And if you know human beings that are of different races, then you're going to find that uh, the color of their skin bears little in terms of the human beings that you will find who are uh, authentic with you, who are trustworthy, who, are, who, have, who have integrity, who have character, who, who demonstrate virtue. That's not at all dependent upon race, and I've never found in any way, shape, or form, any perception that the people that were of one particular race or this particular race were for anything other than individuals who make individual decisions. I'll end it here.